they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How'd it break? Got busted the first day those... things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'd be worth it, trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy, but don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. This rope is perfect for the swing.
Nothing else I need in here. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. This shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Hey, now keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac. He was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know, like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. <laughs> well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. 
Come on, let's push it off. Disgusting. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's dangerous. True, but it's also dangerous to the walkers. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Little help here? Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Ah! What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had no reason! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out! Come on now! Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, they're on the shit, move. that hurts. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Behind the tractor. Did you really think you could fuck with us? What happened? Oh, shit. shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. You got lucky that time! Get through! Where do you think you're going? What about all the things you to do? Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Did you really I think you could fuck with us? Get closer! What's wrong? 
was a goddamn ambush out there! Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids. Look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah! They look happy. Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I was talking to Andy a bit earlier. Doesn't sound like they have too many guns around. They rely mostly on the fence to keep them safe. So long as you're on this side, things are all right. Provided the fence holds out. Well, that's the problem. When there's no more gas, there's no more fence. That's true. Well, it's good to know what we're working with here. Keep looking around, and let me know if you find anything else. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. 
You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You're lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Then we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clint. I hope so. I hope so, too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clint. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. Fellas? How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? We'll go in a few minutes. Just need to check on a few things before we head out. Sure, that's understandable. Talk things over with your group. Just come find us when you're ready. I'll do that. They're storing gasoline all over the property. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. That thing keeps a fence electrified. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Quaint. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. 
Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. And not giving my dad food. That was cold. Hey. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. I'm going to go have a look around. I'll be here if you need me. Let me know if you find anything. Hey, Lee. Change your mind about going out to track down them bandits? Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? You see anybody? Looks empty. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tan. Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Nothing but fumes. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. 
Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Just water. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Yuck. I don't need that. Nothing. Empty. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. Your gun's down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. You steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. You come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. <laughs> tell him what you got in mind. Oh! God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. 
She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. That was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Today. My girl here. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. You really like that gun. What's not to like? Just kinda creepy, that's all. Times like these, a 243 will keep you warmer at night than any lady I ever know. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Hello. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Hope Mark is okay in there. Pardon me, Brenda. What's on your mind, Lee? How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. 
Uh, not to be rude, ma'am. How come you're out here instead of, you know? <laughs> oh, you want to know why I'm not slaving away in the kitchen? Is that it? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Oh, it's okay, darling. Got it slow cooking in the oven. Should be ready before too long. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. It sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. Think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. I think she was trying to tell me something. But then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor inn where we at least know what to expect. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Mmm, it smells funny in here. I like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> Kids? How do you like that cow, Clem? 
She's pretty. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I don't think so, Clem. Not the way the world is now. I just... Uh, I don't think I could do that. Oh. Maybe when the world gets better, then. Maybe. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. She looks skinny. 